Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So it's time to open the April 2021 dollar bead bag and dollar bead box. So two separate subscriptions. We're going to open the bag first, but before we do that, I'm going to pull out some things that I have made using previous dollar bead bags and boxes and give you a look and then we'll go on to the bag. So if you want to just go on to the bag, you can just sort of fast forward everything. <laughs> All right, so I'll be back in okay. a minute. So in previous bead boxes, uh, and I think even in this one, maybe, I'm not sure, I haven't really looked at it closely. Um, we've been getting these chains that are already made, and they're perfect size for an, a bracelet. I think, I mean, what a cool little bracelet for anybody, but especially maybe your teenager, even to make, you know, themselves. Here's a little bead box um, clasp, and the one of the little table cut dragonfly pieces, and you've got this like really cute little dangly bracelet. So I took that idea and I went with it. <laughs> I put a clasp on this one. This is my own clasp. Here's that great elephant pendant, um, elephant bead, and the, um, what are these called, magic beads? Or uh, I, forget, I keep forgetting the name of them, but they're so cute. And this one in the blue. And then I got, I made this one. So here's the other piece. And I, I had added these dangles. So the little um, flower bead caps and this chain is from the dollar bead box and then I was having so much fun with these little dangles that I made a little cascade of them and isn't that cute so that whole bracelet is little dangles and a little cascade that um, that goes on your wrist when you wear it so love that one and then here I just did a three strand bracelet using these are dollar bead box beads and um, I think the fire polish from the dollar bead bag this is a little bead from the dollar uh, bead box the chain I believe is and all the beads are this is my own class so here a little three strand bracelet and then one other thing this is not from the dollar bead box I think this is from actually I think this is from one of the other um, boxes but it's it's a really long piece so I made this sort of triple um, wrap bracelet but this cool bead that looks like a Tahitian pearl is from the dollar bead box I don't know if that is a real pearl or not um, maybe it's a, um, a freshwater pearl um, and the clasp, I think, might be from the dollar bead box. So here, you can just add it to something else, and you got a great little wrap bracelet, or it, it works as a necklace, too. And then, oh, and then this guy. So this guy is from the beads and the disc are from the dollar bead box, and the these beads in the mid, the copper beads may be also. These aren't, and the chain may be. But, you know, the majority of beads used here are from the dollar bead bag, or the and mostly the dollar bead box. So I just wanted to give you a look at some things that I've been working on that are very easy and that are very springy and just fun just to just make, throw on, and then you got a little bracelet or a necklace. All right, so I'm gonna come back with the bead bag. Okay, let's get a look at the bag. So the bag is $8 a month. I have a coupon code, bronze2, two, two bucks off. Your first bag, box, um, or anything on their website. So here you get three, uh, four strands of three millimeter po fire polish beads and four strands of four millimeter fire polish beads and they have the most beautiful fire polish beads. We, I, I absolutely love them. I use them all the time. I have so many projects where I use their fire polish beads. Look at these colors. I love these metallics. So pretty. All right, I just had uh, two cups of coffee so <laughs> I'm going to try to calm down a little bit. All right, let's look at them. So we have, okay, so April um, 2020 and dollar bead bag and dollar bead bag subscribers can reorder April items through May 2021. Dollar a strand. Okay, opaque pumpkin spice. I'm gonna say that's this one. This almost looks coppery, like a, but it's gorgeous. Really is very pumpkin-y, but it's got a nice metallic sheen to it. Love. Alabaster white gold travertine. That's this one. Look how pretty that is. Fire polish beads are just gorgeous. Baby blue luster. Love, love, love. And crystal ruby gold luster. Anything ruby, reddish, pinkish, and gold, I absolutely love. These are beautiful. Love these colors. Stunning. I love the metallics. So four millimeter strands, multi-bronze mix. It's like this one. Look at the brown. Look at those colors. Isn't that gorgeous. Gorgeous. Vintage purple luster. Must be this guy. The purple. Love. Love the luster on that. 
Baby Blue Luster. You know, I'm a blue fan. I love blues and golds and bronzes and, you know, champagne colors. Love, love this with everything brown. So pretty. Such a nice bead. Such a pretty color. And then California, California Collection Blue Zircon. It's this guy. Such unusual finishes. So pretty. All right, there you go. There's your dollar bead bag. You know, let me, I'll pull in really close so you can get a quick real look at them. There you go. Remember, $8 a month. Go to the website. I will link the website down below so you can um, check it out, see if it's right for you. I love their website. It's so much fun to play on. Um, and don't forget the bronze two code. You might as well save a couple of bucks. All right, so I'm going to clear this off and we'll get a look at the box items. Okay, I've taken everything out of the box. So your box, you know, comes with all your beads wrapped in tissue. And here's our letter. So they're, they're talking about what's new in the shop. So they've added five, six, and eight millimeter fire polish strands, which is so great. I love filling in with different sizes. Ammonite flat coins, love those. Half pound bead mixes, I love bead mixes. Here are all their social media addresses here. Here's their contact um, email. So let's get started looking at the beads. So we're gonna start with the strands. So we have three by eight millimeter check glass daisy beads, and these are in assorted color, 60 pieces. So I have a, an amber, which I absolutely love, a door amber. I have lots of amber jewelry. It's not real amber, it's, but it looks like it. Not pretty, so it's just a little like a daisy space or daisy bead. It's hard to tell, but very cute. Perfect for little necklaces, adding to the necklaces. Five millimeter check glass fire polish. You get 60 pieces on that. This is jet hematite, 25 pieces. Here's that five millimeter bead. And it's amazing the difference between a five and a four and a six. I love having a five millimeter bead. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then we have a five millimeter check glass daisy spacer in jet vitriol. And that is, okay, that's this guy. I took this off the strand because you know I can never do anything in one take so <laughs> I took them off the strand because when I was first looking at them I was like these are just like brown looking and look how gorgeous they are with the fish finish so when you cut them open how beautiful right I love these so pretty those colors so I'll pop those in 35 pieces, five by seven millimeter check glass bellflower, summer beach mix. Oh, I love these. Here, actually, I should put this aside for the moment. I love these. Look at these little bellflowers. Aren't they adorable? So this is, you know, use these to make that piece I showed you. And, you know, the little cascade. So if you didn't watch, you know, the, the clip, the previous clip where I did it, here, what a cute little, how perfect is that for a little cascade like that? So definitely would use these. These are such, such pretty vibrant colors. Love these. Can't wait to use those actually. Very pretty. Six millimeter check glass Lucerna Bicone. Here we go. And these are really pretty. This is in a Amazon travertine, 16 pieces. So I love these. I love the theme here. It's very, there's crystal, but, and shiny, really shiny, but then there's also, they're beads that look sort of like stones and or gemstones. And I love that for the spring and especially for the summer. It's so pretty for the summer. It's a little more casual, very pretty. Did I say 16 pieces? Set five millimeter check glass melon in topaz. So here I've got another, um, what looks like amber to me. And this is so pretty. I love a little melon bead. And what did I say? Five millimeters. So another five millimeter bead, which I absolutely love having in my stash. So I've got two with sort of that amber color. Love that. And then we have, that's 40 pieces, four millimeter check glass truck, medium aqua. Pretty. That was a gorgeous color. Love it. And then a check glass struck, 50 pieces, and a check glass struck crystal Burnt Maria, four millimeter, 50 pieces. This is gorgeous. I, this is, looks so pretty with a clear beads and um, transparent and white and off-white. I just see it as it's like a really pretty necklace. And I love the, the finish on it. It reminds me of that Raku pottery. I have a, actually have a couple of pieces of that and it's so gorgeous. Love it. And then five millimeter check 
Fire Polish Crystal Swirl Travertine, 25 pieces. Did I say 50 pieces? I'm not sure. On the other one. And again, I love this because it looks like a gemstone. It looks like it came out of the earth. I mean, they're glass, they do come out of the earth, but I mean, it looks like, a, you know, some sort of like something you pick up on the beach. Really pretty, love it. So there are strands. Now let's go to the additional items. So four by five millimeter or five by six millimeter oval bracelet chain and an antique brass, you get a foot of this. And this is very cool. So you get a whole foot of antique brass chain. So you can use this like I did on my, in my bracelet or as a necklace, because you've got a whole foot here. You can just add little, these little bell flowers to the bottom. Perfect. It's a really pretty. I love the color on that. And then 10 millimeter check glass fire polish. Jet vintage silver. You get six pieces. This is big, big, big babies. It's a big 10 millimeter. And here I love the finish on it. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Love it. Six pieces. Five by 15 millimeter Swarovski column bead. Where are you? So we get these uh, Article 5534 crystal luminous green, one piece. So these are these sort of unusual looking Swarovski beads. We have a few of these. No, we need to put these together and make something because they're too pretty not to use. It's a Swarovski bead and it's really pretty. The whole is this way. So we'll have to, you know, work maybe like several in a row as an earring or in a, as a bracelet. We'll see. And then seven inches of check glass beaded chain, which, you know, I've been, I really have been enjoying. And this is, you get this in assorted colors. So I'm, I have more of an amber themed um, box here. So these go beautifully with my other amber colored beads. It's like a deeper um, topaz. Love, that's gorgeous. Lots of opportunities to put little beads on. You can even use this. What, as a necklace like this and just, you know, add a beaded chain around it. And it's perfect. I just like it as a little bracelet. I think it's really cute. Okay, and then we have 5 by 14 millimeter check glass spike. And these are in white opal, eight pieces. So you have to give me ideas in the comments on how to use these spike beads. Like I see making a necklace out of it, like that. Or just maybe a pair of earrings. I'm, I'll try to think of something, but I just, I don't go do a, some, some kind of circular thing. I don't know, but it's too pretty not to use because they're in white opal and they're beautiful. So let's figure out something to do with these because they're so pretty. And then we have crystal embellished large hole pewter bead and the style varies. You're going to get one piece and I love this. This looks like, um, <laughs> it looks like it's threaded like a, like a nut where you could put a screw through and that is awesome. So again, I have this sort of amber and silver, which is my favorite combo. I have lots of amber and silver jewelry. Love it. So I I would immediately use this as a as part of a tassel. So I take a round bead. I think this one's a little too big, but I take a round bead, put it on the top, and my tassel would be coming out here. So like a real like a chain tassel or a beaded tassel. But this is like the perfect bead to use for a tassel. So love that. Very cute. 14 millimeter check glass center drilled flower, crystal bright copper. You get four pieces and I love this copper color. So this is a, the, the drill, the hole is right down the center. Very pretty. Love this for bead embroidery. Anything that is a hole in the center that I can sew right down through, put a bead on and sew down through bead backing. I'm going to use this for bead embroidery and then just bead around it. You could just make a gorgeous pendant. So I think that would be perfect for bead embroidery. They're so cute. And then what else do we have? 18 millimeter check glass flower, Robin's egg blue with gold wash, two pieces. And these are just the cutest little earrings. All you have to do is take a head pin pop it right through, put on any of You have the cutest little earring or necklace, or if you want to use an eye pin, you can put a, a drop on the bottom. So cute. Love that. And then we have a bonus item, check glass pressed bead mix. 
Now this is one of my favorite things and when you first look at these you say like what is that? It's just a bunch of beads and it's you know just a mess of beads. What am I going to do with these? Okay when you separate these and I don't want to make the video too long but this is I have a bead mix like this in a jar. It's giant. <laughs> you know mason jar, big giant mason jar and I absolutely love when I need something I pull them out. I pull out the beads. So here I've pulled out some of the red guys and when you look in here, like I'm, I see these. This is something that I would love to use. So these like little pinch beads, but they're in this sort of bronze color. But you get enough of them so that you can add them to a little, you know, a little necklace. Or just when you need some unusual bead, the one, the jar that I have has a bunch of these in sort of that amber color. So as you take them apart, you see, I'm not going to take them all apart, you see like what, how useful it is to have these bead mixes. And here, look at this guy. Look at these cubes you have here. Oh, whoa, look at these cubes. I didn't even see those at first. These are really cute. So you, at least you have two of those, and then you have a few of the of these cubes. So look at all these different, like, fun things that you can play with. Here's another one in that sort of um, turquoise color. So very useful here. Look, these. how perfect are these for bead embroidery right there? So all right, I'm not going to go crazy, but I, I love separating all these beads out. And then they're perfect little beads when you need just a few and you don't want to buy, like, you know, a whole tube of them. <laughs> All right. So here you go. Here's your dollar bead box. See, lots of fun stuff and very interesting and so useful. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to link everything down below in the description box. Check it out. See if you like it. Yeah. And if you do like it, get two bucks off. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.